Hey, it's Joseph again. Now we're going to install the Magic Touch Space Control Utility RIP software. So our tech department emails you the software through wetransfer.com. It's going to come in a zip file. Okay. Once you open up the zip file, you're, because it's a zip, you want to right click it and extract all. Next, you're going to see the browser to your desktop. Make sure you save it to your desktop and hit extract. And there it is, right here. We're gonna drag it over here so for you to better to see. Now your zip file, you can trash it, throw it away, do whatever you want, you're done with that. Now, you open up the file, and there's your space control software. You're gonna open this, and then the space control three setup. You're gonna hit that. Next, it's gonna take you to another window, do you allow this app to change your device? You're going to hit yes. You're going to want it in English. You're going to press next to install it. You're going to hit yes, I accept it. There's your files right there. You're going to hit next. It's going to call space control. That's the name of the RIP software. Hit next. Do you want to create a desktop icon? Yes, because you want to make sure it's on your desktop. You're gonna hit next, and then hit install. Now it's gonna install it, and hit finish. Now, as you see right here, here's your space control icon. Your button is, right, let me minimize this folder here. Here's your space control right here. There's your desktop icon. We're gonna hit on it twice to open it up. Okay. Now this is the print utility RIP software that Magic Touch offers with the Oki printers. What you have to do first is install the license of your printer. How do you do that is you go to utility, install, license install right there. Next you want to click on desktop and then find that space control folder that our tech guy sent you, which is right here, space control. Next you click on that. And there's your license, space control license. You hit on that, you make sure the file name appears right here, and then press open. Now you have connected your space control software with the Oki printers. Next, what you wanna do is a couple things. You wanna go to utility and hit printer mode, and make sure that driver off is underlined. It is very important that driver off is underlined because now you're turning off the Oki drivers and turning the space control back on, okay? This is the RIP software that you need, so you gotta make sure the driver is off. Okay, next, you wanna go to Tools. Under Unit Settings, you wanna make sure it's converted to inches, okay? And then you press OK. Now, time to talk about the space control software. What's great about the space control software, it does a couple things for you. It does all the preset settings for all the Magic Touch papers. It helps you save on white toner and toner costs in general. And first, and, last and foremost, what makes it great, it's easy. It's easy to use. There's no need to worry about mirroring an image, uh, increasing white density, increasing the colors. All the settings are already done for you. Your main responsibility is saving your image in Photoshop or Corel, dragging it into our software, selecting a paper, and press print. That's it. I'm gonna show you how to use the software with the Oki 711 printer. So, we have a couple files here that we usually use for trade shows. We're gonna grab one over here. So you can, you can do a couple ways of exporting your files. You can go to File, and then Open, open a file where you have it inside um, your save files, or you can drag one into the space control. So that right there, the Magic Touch logo, is your software. You have to drag everything in there. Now, once you drag everything in there, then set up. So your main responsibility now is this. I'm gonna show you a couple cool features of the space control software. So under media type, you see where it says right here, printer settings, you wanna click on that. Once you click on that, all the papers generate. So we have nine different papers for different things. TTC for light shirts, T1, which is our one-step self-weeding, self-cutting. Wow, which is our two-step for dark shirts. We have a CPM for hard surfaces, a tattoo paper, water slide decal for candles, sticker paper for window decals. Your main responsibility now is just selecting the paper that you're using. So today I'm gonna to demonstrate T1, which is the one-step self-weeding, self-cutting. 
Now, once you select that, look what happens to the mirror, everything. The software does everything for you. It mirrors the image for you. It prints white, it prints colors. Your only thing you're responsible for is saving your image, printing, and pressing, and that's it. Now, what's cool about the software is this. It tells you your DPI, your resolution. So right here, we see our DPI is at 299. You always want to keep the DPI anywhere between 250 to 300 and above. You do anything below that, you want to re, uh, redo your image and make sure it's a good quality image. Now, another cool feature about the Space Control software is sizing. As you can see right here, the size of it is 7.3 by 10.1, okay? But what's great about the software is you can actually size it up. Let's say we're doing pocket logos, a two by two, and then hit automatic tile. And see what it does? It fits how many you can on one page for you. That way, if you're doing pocket logos or temporary tattoos, you're not wasting paper. It gangs up as many images as it possibly can, okay? But let's say we want to do a full bleed image. We unclick automatic tile and fit the page. Now, what's great about the 7-Eleven is the paper size. Now, the standard size is A4, which is 8.5 by 11. But with the Magic Touch uh, system, you also have the capabilities of doing legal, which is 8.5 by 14, and also A4XL, which is 8.5 by 16.5. So as you can see, when you click it, you have the long version. So you, now you're not limited to just 8.5 by 11. Uh, we're going to use the standard paper to do the print here. Okay, so we're going to stick it back to A4. And right below that is the multi-purpose tray. The multi-purpose tray is the bypass tray that you want to print out of. You always want to use the bypass tray or multi-purpose tray while using the 7-Eleven. We're going to uh, show you how to print right now. So, our image is set. Our image is done. We're going to press print. Now, I'm going to show you how to print the Magic Touch paper using the 7-Eleven printer. This is your bypass tray, your multi-purpose tray. You want to open it up right here. You see how it pops open? Now, common thing is you always got to remember the tray's down. To lift the tray up, all you have to do this is one time. There's a blue tab. You're just going to hit it up, okay? Next, with our Magic Touch paper, you're going to notice all of our paper has coated one side and watermarks on the other, okay? You want to make sure every time you're using the Magic Touch paper, the watermarks are facing down and the coated side is facing up. So, we, we put our paper in. Next, what we want to do is we want to make sure that the back tray is open. We don't want nothing coming through the top, okay? Make sure the back of your Oki tray is open. Now, what's great about it, it's a very quick print. We hit print, it's going to print anywhere from 40 to 50 pages per minute. When that's done, <coughs> the print's going to come through the back. And there you have it. That's how you print with the Oki 7-Eleven using the Space Control software. If you have any questions about the software, please give us a call. Thank you so much.